Okay. So it's been less than 10 years since she entered the consciousness of the country. And what a decade, what a decade it's been for her. She might have come in seventh place during the third session, the third, the third season of American Idol, but by 2010, the Los Angeles Times had her in the top three of the greatest contestants in the history of the show. I didn't sign her to a recording contract at the very beginning. But when I saw her, when I saw her screen test for Dream Girls, I knew that she was truly a unique, original, original artist whose career would be nothing short of spectacular. And so I did sign her then. In that raw screen test, she had already become Effie White, and her rendition of Effie's signature song, Will It Just Rip Your Heart Out? I was stunned by her acting range. She was the real deal, powerfully probing her character's depth and that voice. I have been privileged over the years to work for over 25 years with two of the greatest voices of all time, Aretha Franklin and Whitney Houston. Amen. I never thought I'd hear another voice to compare, and yet staring me in the face was a new voice that did compare. It literally sent shivers up my spine. Well, the rest is in the history books. Dream Girls came out in 2006, and yes, she won the Academy Award, a Golden Globe Award, a Screen Actors Guild Award. She won 29 awards for that role. And then in 2008, we released her debut album. And in that very first year, with that very first album, she proceeded to win a Grammy Award. The album sold over a million copies worldwide, and her second album, as just was said, was also certified gold in the United States. 